For our project, we wanted to face the growing issue of biodiversity loss in Florida. The environment is a delicate but very important thing that impacts the lives of everything on Earth. Every creature and ecosystem has an important role to play, and when the balance is interrupted by tragedies like habitat loss or overhunting, the consequences can be grave. Fresh water and air, food, and mental health are dependent on the environment. We wanted to help progress the SDGs Life on Land and Climate Action. Even if our impact would be small, a small impact is still better than no impact. To achieve our goals, we volunteered with AmeriCorps' ANT division, who placed us in, it in Coruscant State Park, a nature preserve who needed help removing invasive plant species from their property. Coruscant State Park is not only a beautiful place to be, but historic too. You can indulge yourself in peaceful nature as you learn about the cult that once lived on the land before they sold it to the government. Ryan and Sequoia went to the park for three days to help a small team of other volunteers to pull out invasive plants, mostly air potato and rosary pea. Both of these species were completely covering all our plants and can't chuck them out. Meanwhile, me and Frank worked from home making educational posters about a few common invasive plants on the park itself. My name is Chris Romanchek. I am uh, the exotic invasive plant technician here at Correction State Park. Um, I also work in Estero Bay Preserve State Park and Mount Key Archaeological State Park. And what my role is essentially is just managing all the invasive species here. Um, right now I'm focusing on terrestrial species, but eventually we'll get trained on more aquatic. Um, but besides that, just preventing the huge abundance of invasive species growth here and trying to manage it as best we can to uh, really show um, what natural Florida really is like and what it has to offer. I feel like in this area specifically, um, being 10 minutes from campus, not many people realize how close um, a place like this is, well, preserving this much acreage, but it's important to preserve it and show what uh, what real Florida is. So, definitely passionate about it. So, if I could ask questions, um, yeah, absolutely. So, what kind of conditions are in this area? If you could go through a couple of them, yeah. and which ones are we focusing on today? Absolutely. So, the ones I'm pulling right here, these bigger ones here, heart shaped. You could tell on the back too, more um, pronounced, I guess, veins. These are air potato. They usually grow higher up. And then these right here, let me get a closer look on them. These are called rosary pea. These have little red, hard, almost like BB's seeds that they produce. And these grow like wildfire. You can see all around there, um, even back there, they create a huge coat around all the native vegetation, blocking out all the sunlight. And um, they grow very rapidly. So we have air potato, rosary pea, um, Caesar weed is a huge one. And not many people um, are too informed on some of these because, uh, weirdly enough, a lot of the flowers on them do look pretty and some of them do look native. But the more you educate yourself and the more you realize how detrimental it could be to some of the ecosystems here, you know, the more you want to get rid of them. But these right here as well, these are the seeds I was talking about for the rosary pea. They're red hard. Um, want to get these out as well. Anytime you see seeds, that's more potential for more invasives to spread. So obviously separate those, try to put them in the sand until we can bag them. But yeah, mostly around here, around the nature trail, it's gonna be rosary pea, Caesar weed, air potato, um, and then showy and smooth rattle box, which fortunately we don't see much around the trail, but that's, that's another big one. But yeah, mostly just those three, four we're focused on within the trail. And um, yeah, it's a lot of work, but definitely fun, definitely rewarding. Let's do it around nature. Our project did not go smoothly. We had a few setbacks. For example, Ryan and Frank got very sick and were unable to work for days. Plus, email correspondence with the supervisors was slow. Communication within our group was also not the most effective at times. We always felt like we were scrambling to get things done, but in the end, I think we managed to put out some pretty good work. We printed out nine posters and hung them in different academic buildings around campus as well as help remove over 15 60-gallon bags worth of invasive plants from Coruscant State Park. 
by killing so many harmful plants, we created new areas where the native plants could be colonized, therefore restoring the forest to a healthier state. Our goal with the posters is to create a ripple effect like what happened in The Promise of a Pencil. If even one person reads the posters and decides to donate to Korashan or remove any invasive plants that might be in their yard, it can make a big difference in protecting native wildlife. These posters also link back to the civic element of leading, since we hope to use them to lead others in the fight against invasive species. Leading was also used during the creation of the posters, since they were a nearly entirely self-led task where Rodrigo and Frank had to motivate themselves to work in their free time and use their own creativity. Our project was based on the element of serving too, since at Coruscant, we dedicated ourselves to following the instructions given by our supervisors. Problem-solving skills were extremely useful during this project as well. Since, as previously mentioned, we ran into quite a few problems. Sequoia and Ryan were left short a service hour since our supervisor didn't get back to them to schedule another volunteer day. So, they ended up going with Frank and I to hang out the posters up. When working in the park, some plants had roots too deep to pull by hand or were too high to reach them out. So, lots of sticks became improvised tools to dig up dirt or slash vines. Even when making this video, we had to solve some technological problems. This class has taught us that it takes a lot of determination, time management, and hard work to pull off a project like this, but it is very rewarding to see before our eyes that we're making a difference. We hope that you like our work as well and have been encouraged to make your own little difference in the world by removing any invasive plants you come across or are at least interested in visiting Correction State Park at 3800 Corkscrew Road, Estero.